I suggest that we go straight into the song. The only thing that I want to ask you is how many of you are familiar with that music, with the Shostakovich? Hands up, anyone? Yeah. And uh, how many of you know the Yiddish version, the Yiddish, uh, any of the Yiddish versions of that lullaby? Because there are a few of these, yeah? Great, I, I thought so. Now, let's see how this goes. I think because quite a few of us know the folk songs and we don't really get the chance to sing the um, Shostakovich that much, I suggest we focus on Shostakovich and go all the way through it. We are unlikely to have time for folk pieces. So now I'm still just admitting people as soon as everyone is in. 27, wonderful. And more, and Deborah is coming in. We're going to start, okay? No warm up, make sure you're sitting upright. Singing will be easy to start with uh, because uh, we are going phrase by phrase, slowly, slowly. Okay, everyone ready? Um, Shostakovich may sound a bit discordant, um, dissonant. Well, he is. And he composed it in his most uh, challenging year, 1948, when in Russia there was a huge uh, criticism of modern composers who, as some singers say, they write unsingable material. The, um, the major seven, who can sing that? This, uh, one of the opera singers complained. So there was a whole campaign against the cosmopolitan and the modern composers. Here we go. This is our music. Before we start, I'm going to just play a little bit. Shostakovich does and it is already it already has some Jewish elements it has the minor the flattered notes of the key so um, you know it sounds Jewish we will we may talk about why here is our phrase look at the first measure and it goes like this <laughs> It's very slow. You have to stretch your notes, stretch your breath. Let's go first verse, first um, phrase. And this is your G. La, 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 la. Next phrase. La, So I'll sing that whole phrase, first line, go with me, from the G. I'm going to say it in Yiddish. Now, if you can read it here, in the Russian says, Мой сынок всех краше в мире, огонек во тьме. My little son is more beautiful than everyone else in the world. A little light in the dark, in the darkness. The Yiddish says, Shlof, mein Kind, mein Kind, mein Schöner. See that? Sleep, my child, my child, my beautiful one. Shlof mein Zunenu, sleep my little son. All very easy. I suggest we do it with music. See that? Yeah, see that line? Let's go. One, two, three, and Shlof mein Kind, mein Kind, mein Shlof mein Second phrase, second line. Oh, sorry. La, 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 la. So long, 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 
long notes here. I'll do it one more time. Uh, uh, Shostakovich is not a tonal composer as such. He goes from, he modulates all the time. And here it's, it works beautifully through the piece. But it's, we are now here. Ta, second line, that's your E flat, long notes. Let's go. La, 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 la. Text. I see birnik is dein tante. I see birnik, somebody who is in prison in the camps in a, you know sent far away into Siberia, is dein tante is your father in the Russian. Твой отец в цепях Сибири. Your father is in chains in Siberia. Uh, bear in mind that the translation was made from Yiddish into Russian and now we're going back to Yiddish yeah so let's try and sing that simple line in Yiddish ah Sibirnik E flat second line one two three and ah, Next line is the most um, memorable line of this whole song. La, 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 la. we have quite some text держит царь его в тюрьме the czar is holding him in prison шлов люлю 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 and that's all there is шлов люлю so i suggest we sing it with шлов люлю third line starting with g one two three and шлов люлю Then it goes somewhere else, and before we do that, we're going to bring this whole page because on the score it's the first page together. Let me see your faces. How are you coping? How is that for you? A bit different, right? A bit different. Um, I don't know if you can follow all the twists in the melody. Um, it's a bit tricky, especially if you don't read music and it's modally, it's quite, you know, all these dissonant um, jumps are a bit tricky, but I hope you can do it with me one time, another time, and then a third time, and hopefully we'll go through that piece. Um, there's stuff happening here. Zuna new Russian dictionary and tons of language stuff. Uh, this song has so much to talk about. There's so much context of this, the history of the cycle, what happened with Shostakovich in that year, what was happening, and the the origins of origins of the song, the Sholem Aleichem's uh, poem, the folk poems. Lots to talk about. So this is just dipping our toes into that uh, piece. Here is our first note, Shlof Mein Zun. Okay, let's go. Uh, sorry, Schloch my kind. All right, let's go. And... Be or not, I see. 
How was that? Better? Yeah? Did you manage more or less? <laughs> Some of you look puzzled. Well, we could stick to it and just sing the first page and again and again, but I think it would be nice to just go through the whole piece. Yeah? At least at the second page. Let's do it. You know, don't be precise with this. You can always sing with Dorliak, with that uh, wonderful Russian recording. Uh, in Russian or with Yiddish, if you want to really learn the tune properly. Justin, I don't expect you as a non-music reader to just precisely sing the whole thing. See it as familiarizing yourself with a classical approach, uh, Dmitry Sostakovich's classical approach to Jewish folklore. We're going to the next line. So we finished here, your third line. Now we are on the next line and I will play you a little interlude that happens between this and that. We are here. See where it goes? Here, right? And we are uh, on this line that you see at the top of your page. By Dan Vigo, yeah? Just the tune. Listen. La, 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 la. Well, I'll do it one more time. And. La, 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 I'm going up. La, 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 Then we repeat it. Uh, you see? La, 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 da, 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 da. And the second ending is different. Da, 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 da. Right? Two different endings, same beginning. Go from the first. C sharp on the line that you see there, Bim Dain Vigil, Kalibil to Kachaya. Let's go and one. La 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 da 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 do it one more time it modulates all over the place right let's go and one Let's look what happens here. Kalibel tvoyu kachaya by dain vigil is dain mama. Kalibel tvoyu kachaya is um, rocking your uh, vigil, rocking your, um, what's it called? Uh, cradle. Cradle. Huh? Cradle. Cradle, thank you. <laughs> Anything but English today. Uh, uh, rocking your cradle, your mother is uh, pouring, tears are pouring out of your mother's eyes. And mama slowly liot in Russian, in, in Yiddish. Beim dein Wiegel ist dein Mama, singt ein Lied und weint. weint. So, um, by your uh, cradle is your mother, she sings a, a song and cries. Let's see if we can bring that with the tune together slowly. Your C sharp here and one. By dein Wiegel is dein Mama, singt ein Lied und one more time. By dein Vigo is thy mama. Sing the lead on the way. Next line. Du wirst das verstehen, Mestame. You will you will know it. You will understand it. Maybe. The Sie hat gemeint, what she meant, so you will grow up and understand it, right? Du wirst, uh, du wirst das verstehen, Mestame. I hope that you're just following me, yeah, that's end of that line that you see now. Du wirst das verstehen, Mestame. Wie sie hat gemeint. And in Russian, 
сам поймешь ты подрастая, что ей сердце жжет. Сам yourself поймешь you will understand, подрастая, growing up, что вот ей сердце жжет. Her heart burns. What burns her heart? Okay. Let's see if we sing that. You can sing that second line. So, do vest or sam paimyoshte, for those of you who want to sing it in Russian. Sam do vestos, re and one. Do vestos pashte mesta. Let's bring these two lines together from the C sharp by Dan Vigel. By yeah, let's go one. By Dan Vigel, it's oh sorry, zitzt dein mama. There are two versions. I have zitzt on my score, so it's your mother sits or she just is there. So if I sing zitzt, please forgive me. I'm looking at my score with accompaniment. So is or zitzt, up to you. And again, let's go. Beim dein Vigo sitzt dein Mama, singt mal in Du hast das Verständnis da, wo sie hat Let me see you. <laughs> How is that? Is your brain melting yet? Huh? Are you managing to follow? Yeah? Yeah? Listen, we have people here who don't know anything Yiddish. We don't know people who don't read music. So find your pace. Do what you can. We are going from the very beginning up to here. Okay? And then we have another half of the song, but there will be, there'll be some repeated material. We've done the trickiest bit already. Good? Right, let's go. From the beginning. See if I can scroll. Do I need to scroll yet? No, we can fit everything into the screen. There we go. I will give you an introduction. Here it goes. Was that you managed a bit more this time i hope yeah yeah uh the ski should be okay for most of us so i just hope you are with me now the next bit is a dramatic recitativo 
it changes tempo, but when you listen to the recordings of this, it doesn't really have to change very much. It's in the same, you still feel that, that pulse. Ta -da. So that's your line where it says piano. Твой отец Вайт из Сибирдентата, yeah. So that line here, yeah. I'll lava la through it and let's go one. Ta -da 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 -da. Ta -da 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 -da. It's a recitative. We can stretch a bit. Let's go again. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Right? Text. Твой отец в Сибири дальний. Your father is in faraway Siberia. Вайт is in Sibir Daintata. Okay? Вайт is in Sibir Daintata. Let's do that. And then the next bit, я нужду терплю, I am experiencing need, I am in need. Шлох майн зунину ин Yiddish, so you see it's not a direct translation of that phrase. Let's try slowly and... Weit is in Sibir dein Tate Шлох майн зунину Okay, I'll do it one more time. Don't um, uh, bother too much with following rhythm and tempo here. It's a rich that you And go. What is in Sibir dein Tate? Schlaf mein Zunenu. Okay, the next bit. La, la, la. We know what to do. The rest is familiar material. Just that one little phrase. So I'm going from the C sharp on the top line you can see now where it says Spi Pakuda, du bist jung. Uh, and it shouldn't be jung, it should be jung. It's autocorrect. Jung, right? In Yiddish. So. La, 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 la. Sleep whilst you are still, you have still no worries. In Yiddish, du bist jung noch, you are still young. Schlofle sata, sleep with no, um, so far, uh, for now, I even made a little note here. Le sata from Hebrew, presently, for the present. Yeah, so I'll sing that short little line, du bist jung noch. Uh, that's your note. And du bist jung. I'll try to bring these together, the recitativo bits from the start of this line. I hope you're with me. Твой отец в Сибири дальний. Вайт из Сибир дайнтата. Yes, 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 yes. Follow me. Let's go. And go. Вайт из Сибир дайнтата. Шлов майн зуныню. Добыст. And then it goes back to the material we, we know already. I'll do this whole recitative a bit again. Okay, white and let's go with the note white and the one. White is in.
okay we've done the trickiest bit now yeah how is that <laughs> it's an experiment for me to teach something like that how is that for you okay? it's okay but we can't sing it back without looking at the music don't ask us to oh, memorize come on it. come on <laughs> i can't do it as long as you can sing something and if you're if you're just getting into the material and the style it's just you know interesting i can't tell you that i listen to shostakovich with pleasure it's not pleasure <laughs> it's appreciation or whatever else there are lots of interesting things but not pleasure definitely uh but it's really really interesting to witness kind of through his music how where his thought went and how his understanding of yiddishkeit where it was where it was because he knew some yiddish material and uh, he obviously picked up on the flat on the flat notes da, 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 you know on all that modal stuff and he amplified it by having double flat double flats lots of kind of lower notes in the in the scale he had these um, double flat scales and not just in that piece and that was his something that he picked from from folklore but Shostakovich, at the end of... Shostakovich always challenges I, I remember the late string quartets being played on the third program when I was a sixth former the the British premieres oh amazing they are amazing and I have them on my phone do I listen to them no it's torture they're genius but it's it's really it's really tough to listen, isn't it? And at the end of today's session, ask me um, which uh, phrase by Shostakovich I absolutely hate. Right? There's something he said about Jewish music I hate. <laughs> ask me at the end of today's session. Okay, we're going back to singing. Um, okay, here comes the song. We go from the beginning all the way to whatever we've done. And then I'll probably just sing to the end. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll show it on the introduction. Let's just look at that. It shouldn't be too difficult now. We are almost there. Let's just look at the music all the way to the end. So we are now here where it says Skorp Maya in Russian, my sorrow, minor tsoros in Yiddish. See that? Uh, it's right in the middle of your score here with piano marked here, right? 
Let's go. Oh, sorry. That's it for you. Right? So the material musically is not very different. Let's look at text straight away. So we are here on Skorp Maya or Yiddish and Maya Tsoros. I'll read it in Russian just for those curious ones of you. Skorp Maya Chernea Nochi. My sorrow is darker than, than, than the night. Spi, a ja nie splu, sleep, but I don't sleep. In the Yiddish it says, My natsoras, zainen azoi grois. My trouble is my uh, tsoras. <sighs> What's the best word for tsoras? My worries. sorrow. Hmm? My, worries. my troubles, my worries are so great. Worries. It seems like it's, it should be more. Sorrow. Sorrow. Sorry, sorrow is so great. Sorrow, okay. My sorrow is so great, yeah, is azoi grois. Shlof my zunu, sleep, my little child. That's it. Спи хороший in Russian, спи сыночек, ай люлю. Спи хороший, sleep my good one. Uh, спи сыночек, my little son. In Yiddish it's just шлов, my zoom, my, my kind, my, my voila, sleep my uh, lovely one, uh, люлю And that's it. So let's try and put it to music together. So скорб моя о майна Two, three, and... So we will sing that one more time and then connect everything and probably sing it two or three times so you'll have a chance to get used to it, we'll have a chance to feel through it, okay? Yeah, I'm just looking at you and uh, hoping that you're there still. <laughs> so there are some uh, faces I don't see. I hope it um, Sostakovich um, didn't scare you away completely. But it's great to see so many people here today. Wow, excellent. Shostakovich. <laughs> great. So, just that bit again, uh, we're going from Skorp Maya, Maina Tsoros, yeah? So, my sorrow, so that bit here, ta da da G. One, two, three, and...
Okay? So, we are going from the very beginning all the way to the end. Uh, I'll try to do as much accompaniment as possible. And dynamic changes, I hope you, under, you, you, you feel that, right? It goes up and down as well. It has its moments where it stops, when it develops, when it gets a bit more emotional. See how much of this we can do. We will do it a few times, okay? From the very beginning, and I'll play all the, all the music bits. And I'll try to scroll this page on time. See if I can cope. Huh? <laughs> I don't find, I don't search for easy ways with you here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Introduction. because we couldn't see the oh god i'm sorry there was one task i forgot <laughs> <laughs> I might be let's do it one more time i'll focus on precisely on that okay <laughs> oops 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 i was just all in this um a piece you know <laughs> sorry one more time right just it'll, it'll be nice for us to just get more into this and then we can have a little yeah that, i think that will take us to the end of this session actually woof let's do it let's do it uh, I'll read your chat later. Uh, oh, tell me what you think next. 
<laughs> I will move it this time. Right, let's go. for us okay so Shostakovich said that there is everything in the Jewish folk song it is like laughter through tears and this is just the most stereotypical phrase you can hear about Yiddish music and here it is Shostakovich said it makes me think how much actually I don't really know the depth of his knowledge of Yiddish song but he certainly used some elements of Yiddish folklore certainly the modes uh, certainly the, the kind of little weeping element, the, the lullaby element, he did use it. Uh, and it's it's interesting how he perceived these songs and that he actually went to, to, you know, buy that book and he had a desire to do that. And it's actually an interesting work. There's a whole cycle of 11 songs. Do listen to them if you can. And well, thank you very much for joining that challenging session <laughs> today. I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be lighter material next time, both in the Russian session and in the in the Yiddish session. We've done Rachmaninov, we've done Shostakovich. Now back to folklore, okay? Thank you, everyone, and I will see you on Thursday. Also, oh, Polina, yeah. just to say, I loved, loved, loved your concert. Oh, um, on the other over the weekend, it was great, and I think people can still listen to it. Yeah, it's still on YouTube. It's um, a Besser Welt Yiddish Chorus's um, concert, and it's on YouTube. There's fantastic stuff there, really good stuff. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Worker circle. Yeah, worker circle. Yeah, yeah. Awesome worker circle, and you'll find it. Yeah.
Thanks, Leslie. Okay, everyone, bye. Very, uh, thank you very Great much. Great session. Yeah, Wonderful. Well. Bye.